I'm excited to talk to you, man. So you got uh, Indiegogo for your uh, documentary about your amazing life, Live Well Done. I guess, uh, I guess talk about the, the beginnings of this project, you know, and how'd you end up meeting the director for this film, you know? Yeah, and I met uh, Nani, the director. I met him through social media a couple of years ago, actually. We, uh, he'd been bugging me and, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> 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 and so I was like, okay, what do you want? And we started talking and, and became good friends. And it turned out he was going to be in Canada at the same time. I was going to be up there like a week. He's going to be the week before. So we ended up meeting at a wounded veterans retreat in Canada and hung out there. You know, he came all the way from Israel to, to follow uh, Peter Fairley while he was doing a film. So it's pretty neat to, to meet him that way and hang out with a bunch of Canadian veterans together with him, him being, not even also being an Israeli veteran. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he wants to do a movie about post-traumatic stress, but he already did a darker one in Israel, but he wanted to do more of a lighter side of it. And so a friend of his told about me and my story. And so he's like, oh, yes, that's it. That's what we got to do. Absolutely. Well, I mean, do you mind talking about your background story? I mean, obviously, I, I, I mean, I know about it from watching your Indiegogo video, but for those who don't know about it, you know. Yeah, so uh, I did four tours in Iraq. I was in the Army. I did four tours in Iraq. On my last tour, I was blown up by a roadside bomb. I was the only survivor out of five guys in the Humvee. And to deal with it and anything in life we really dealt with, I, I made, made fun of it, used humor to get through it all. Yeah. And so I was doing that at the hospital joking around with the staff and the other the other soldiers and the occupational therapist you know i had my left hand i had my left hand for two years and they tried to save it and then afterwards i had to amputate it which i was at that point like let's take it off that's fine and so i started working with my occupational therapist and she said you should do stand-up comedy and like there's no way right? you know this is funny to us because we have a dark sense of humor but I can't go to the general public and go, hey, guess what? I got blown in Iraq. Isn't that funny? <laughs> How do I get them to laugh at it? But she kept nagging me and nagging me. So I finally uh, was in LA at one point and she actually made me pinky swear I would try. So I went to the comedy store and I did an uh, open mic. Nobody yeah. laughed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. But, but it just felt good getting it out, right? And, yeah. Uh, People are always like, were you scared the first time? I'm like, well, if I bombed on stage, it wouldn't be the worst time I bombed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so did you start doing like stand-up comedy classes after that? Or you just kind of just went for it and just naturally just kind of progressed? Went you know? for it and it, just, yeah. it was a therapeutic for me. I went back, I was living in San Antonio. So uh -huh. I'd go back and I just do open mics uh, in San Antonio yeah. and next thing you know, building, building. Next thing you know, people are asking me to actually do shows and just kind of built my way up, you know, like the normal way you do comedy yeah you, know, you bounce off the other uh, comedians and everybody else trying to trying to make it in the world you bounce jokes off them and get to sit together and write and so it was a lot of fun and eventually yeah. that's i'm asked to do comedy here and just start doing motivational speaking to share my story of course with comedy in it mm -hmm. um speaking to high schools businesses traveling all over the place 2019 was a great year i know for the world just turned upside down yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was traveling. I was probably home eight days a month, just on the road yeah. constantly. And that's when we're like, let's do this movie. We should do this to get a camera, cool. follow me around and, and see the people I meet. Because that's the incredible thing. There's my yeah. story, but there's so many stories out there. It's how you can touch and help somebody else by sharing your story. You know, I'm just one example. But if I could take my example to show others that, hey, look, we can help each other by sharing our stories. We're not alone. Um, then that's what I want to do. And that's what making this movie will take it to the next level to get it out oh, absolutely. to Absolutely. Well, speaking of travel, where did you actually go? I know you went to Vegas. You met up with some celebrities there. Is that got you under your wing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brad Garrett from Everyone Was Raymond is, was awesome. We had a mutual friend. She called him up and said, hey, I got this, you know, wounded veteran. He's a comedian now. You, you know, you think you want to give him any advice? And he didn't know I was right there. And he started talking to me. He goes, oh, well, he's right here. He just hands me the phone. And I did like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Brad and I started talking. And he said, you know what? You sound, you sound really good. I like what you got going on here. What can I do for you? And I said, why not, right? I'm going to go for it. He, I said, I heard you own a club in Vegas. <laughs> and he's like, Vegas? And I was waiting for you to shoot me down. Like, good try, kid. <laughs> but no, he said, all right, you come on out to Vegas. I'll give you any three nights, 15 minutes each night. And 
give you a shot at comedy. And he's just been uh, very helpful ever since. Uh, even helped me raise money flying to San Antonio, hosting comedy shows to raise money for veterans, uh, having shows in as, at his club in Vegas uh, one year. He had to do that. We raised $10,000 to help Lone Survivor Foundation. So, I mean, he's, he's just been in there all along. He checks in, makes sure I'm doing good and make sure it was this still a really good idea. I thought about doing comedy. Did I change my mind yet? <laughs> Does it, do I want to get out and run? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, speaking of raising money, it's like I said, you got the Indiegogo. Uh, you got some cool re rewards for people that donate. Do you want to talk about like what you're giving out? You know? I don't have the list in front of me and a great oh. memory, but uh, I know we got hats going out, T-shirts. Um, so I think it's like 250 you can get um, your name. You know I mean, the credits. You're going to get all this stuff. Give some shout outs to you. You can even, yeah. I mean, producer, there's producer fees in there too. You got enough money, you know, but you're baller, not like me. You got a good real job. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that. But well, yeah, I love, I love the hat and t-shirt, especially the hat. You got like the flames over the head. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Comedian logo on it. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's so everybody gets to be part of the film, you know. It's it's a really cool event, and I'm excited to be you know, meet everybody and and do the film and, and get it going. It's exciting. Very cool. Well, uh, I mean, are, are you doing any more stand up anywhere? I know things are kind of up and down now with this yeah, COVID, or yeah. are you back, you know, on the road or anything? People can That's find you at. Or... I start, yeah, I started doing some stuff, and then it, it shut down again. Um, oh. I do have some uh, fundraisers coming up. I'll be in Massachusetts and Georgia doing some fundraisers in Georgia, Massachusetts. I'll be talking to some firefighters up there. So I'm excited to do that, get back on the road again and talk to some folks and meet people and try to help make a difference cool. in this world. Absolutely. Especially when we all need to laugh right now, right? Oh yeah, energy. please, yeah. I, do you ever come down to Orlando at all? I don't think you're that far. You're in Myrtle Beach, right? Yeah, no, I'm not that far. Yeah, I've been down to Orlando for a couple of events down there too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, well, if you're ever down here, I'll definitely come see you live, so. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, they do a lot awesome. of stuff down. A lot of big veteran community in Florida. Awesome. Well, speaking of, thank you so much for your service. Uh, I really appreciate it. And obviously, I, I think it's so amazing that you're, uh, you know, putting a smile on our faces and, you know, with your amazing comedy. You know? Appreciate it. Thank you. That's what we got to do in life. I think everybody kind of yeah. does that when you go through something hard in life and when you're able to laugh at it, you know, after some hard times, and you know, I know you made it through it. You got to look back and laugh at it. The dumb stuff we do or stuff we've been through and how it affected us no mm -hmm. i can't believe i let it do that to me let's keep going well awesome everyone uh indiegogo.com slash project slash live dash well dash done you can check out all the amazing rewards and please donate and hopefully we'll see you live at some point man yes we'll be back on the road meeting people and shaking hands the world's coming right. back together <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much man take your time talk to me and good Thanks luck with you. everything Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.